Ever met a creature so lazy it refuses to feed itself, but smart enough to build an army of slaves to do it instead? No, this isn't a twisted Game of Thrones plot. This is real life and the masterminds are ants. Welcome to the world of Amazon ants, where war, kidnapping, and biological trickery are just another Tuesday. On today's Beast OS, we're diving deep into one of the most savage survival tactics in the animal kingdom. And trust me, you'll never look at ants the same again. Let me introduce you to the villain of this drama, the Amazon ant, also known in science speak as Polyergus. Now, these guys aren't your average picnic crashers. Nope, they've evolved into something way more sinister. They're professional raiders, kidnappers, and full-time slave drivers. And here's the kicker. They literally can't survive without enslaving other ants. Yeah, their entire colony depends on outsourcing all the work, taking your from babysitting to meal prep to another species entirely. And the unlucky victims enter the Formica ants, hardworking, loyal, and tragically, too trusting. So how do these six-legged warlords pull it off? Step one, invasion. A group of Amazon ant warriors armed with strong mandibles and zero chill storm a nearby Formica nest like a SWAT team. They don't just attack blindly, they're strategic. They bypass guards, kill off the adults, and head straight for the prize the brood, the eggs, larvae, and pupae. Then they drag these future workers back to their own nest. Why? Because when those Formica babies grow up, they imprint on their new home. They think, huh, I guess this is where I belong. Boom. Just like that, the Amazon ants have new slaves who don't even realize they're slaves. It's like being kidnapped as a baby and growing up thinking your captors are your family. Except you're also expected to clean, cook, and raise their kids. Forever. Now here's where it gets wild. Amazon ants are so reliant on this system, they've forgotten how to ant. Seriously, they can't feed themselves, they can't take care of their queen, they don't even know how to raise their own babies. They're like rich aristocrats who've never lifted a finger in their life. Without their slaves, the entire Amazon colony would collapse faster than a house of cards in a hurricane, and it gets darker. Since the enslaved Formica ants don't reproduce in the colony, the Amazon ants have to raid again and again to keep their workforce fresh. No mercy, no peace. Just endless war, driven by a biological need to outsource. So how did this even evolve? Welcome to the brutal genius of evolution. Over millions of years, Amazon ants specialized in raiding so hard they offloaded basic survival tasks to others. They've even developed chemical trickery using scent masking compounds to sneak into enemy nests or confuse defenders. It's insect espionage at its finest. This phenomenon is called social parasitism. And in the world of ants, it's like having your cake, stealing someone else's cake and making them serve it to you on a silver leaf. So next time you're staring at an anthill, just remember, underneath that dirt is a battle for dominance, identity, and survival that puts most human drama to shame. The Amazon ants didn't just find a way to live, they found a way to hack nature's system, rewrite the rules, and turn war into an everyday chore. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about this mind-blowing insect behavior? Clever? Cruel? Or just another day in nature's ruthless playbook? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you're into wild, science-based animal stories like this one, hit that subscribe button, like, and share the beast mode knowledge.